Hello everyone, welcome back. Drake Hawkins with you again for some more EU4. We are back in the Mandate of Heaven um, expansion. This is primarily focused again on the East Asia, uh, the Far East sort of a focus with the, uh, what is it called, the Empire of China. Oh, thank you very much. 27 tributaries now for, uh, for the Ming. Ming is currently the Emperor of China. Basically, all of these areas are his tributaries. They pay him a little, tiny little spittle of, of like, diplo points or admin points or whatever each year. And there's 27 of them that slowly, that essentially feed a lot of stuff into him. As long as he maintains stability and whatnot, he's not going to collapse like they used, like Ming used to. What they called the Ming Ming explosion. Uh, we can see as far as India right now, not much going on. Vienegar and Bamantis. Yeah, pretty much the normal standard stuff. We are only three years into the game. Um, so yeah, not a lot has happened. Uh, oh, Orites are an Uzbek and the Great Horde. So that's way over here. This stuff's all going on. Uh, what's, is there anything down here? This is probably going to be colonial space for us. Um... I'd really like to get a lot of power in the colonial stage down here, if possible, or maybe I definitely want to go colonial, but or or go for North America. I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments. Do you think we should go uh, exploration? And if we do, uh, should we go south to you know towards Australia and go the Southeast Asia sort of thing? Try to bottle up some of that uh, trade node, uh, the Malacca trade node. Or the Philippines, we can do the Philippines, and then, which feeds then into Malacca, yeah, via the Molu. What's this? Molucas. Um, we could also go for a colonial nation down in uh, Australia. Uh, having Malacca as a, you know, try to claim some space down there, kind of do the islandy mess down this side. That might be an idea. Staying out of the mainland china or we could go into mainland china maybe even as far as for sure as far as korea because heck they've gotten the nippon nipponese trade node right trade road all the way up to here that's all our trade zone clearly ours nobody else's um yeah so that kind of bounces through this way does it bottleneck no no, no it flows heavily through this uh malacca everything seems to in this area seems to flow through malacca or most of it so that'll be a powerful trade node so if we could get there and put our trade trade uh, center there, that might be a thing. Or uh, go and then maybe go across North America, skip down the coast to California, IA, past the fine British Columbian territory. Anyways, back into the uh, mo the current thing. But let me know what you think about the whole uh, future diplomatic process and what we should do. I'd love your input on that. If you're an EU fan, or even if you're not, uh, get used to it. It's a fun game. I love it. Uh, join me. Uh, I'm interested in doing some multiplayer with people. It doesn't have to be other streamers. It doesn't have to be collabs. I'm fine with that. I mean, I don't have a channel that's big enough to warrant many people interested in collabing, but I would love to just play some multiplayer, even if it's not recorded. If you want, I can do it. We can do multiplayer and I can record it too. We can throw it up on the channel. Uh, that might take some organizing, but we'll see. Anyways, plague has struck. Well, on that note, less pleasantness. Uh, epidemic in the early modern era were far deadlier than wars or even famine. Diseases that with modern medicine are relatively harmless, like smallpox or the flu, took a heavy toll whenever they struck, especially among infants. Very sad. Uh, we can lose uh, four bucks or uh, four decades, or we can have a bunch of autonomy boost in uh, Ichigo and have a plague, and that's terrible. We're going to spend the four bucks so that the kids are safe. What else? We are four here. Do we? Did we get to four? We did, or eight rather. We did get to eight for our, for our uh, force limit. That's good. I wouldn't mind spending a few bucks. Oh, we're up at almost seven thousand again for the manpower. That's because we're waiting on. Oh yeah, excellent. We're waiting on uh, our last friend to join the the fun. We got a claim there, and we got a claim there now. That'll really help. Pardon me. Uh, Ishiki, you're still not ready. 34. That's Hosokawa. What about you? Are you, would you be willing, you would ally me. 
But you're rivaling... Oh, Hataki Amashiba and Yamana. You rival Yamana. Will that hurt my relations with Yamana? Yes, but I don't think it'll hurt it substantially. Not long enough to be an issue. Maybe we switch this off and say, thanks but no thanks. Actually, that needs to come off as well. Or we could leave them both on and befriend you guys. We could do the double ridiculous waste of Diplo points. I know this is harsh on the Diplo points. We are now using two per month to maintain these alliances, but these alliances will cause us not to get a giant coalition against us and allow us to just literally steamroll the, the, the nation. I'm going to reject that guy. Did that hurt my relations with him? It doesn't. If I just close it. Honorable people. Oh, look at that. We're honorable. Gain 20 prestige. 61 prestige. Fantastic. 34 minus 60. Too many diplomatic relations. Okay, they're not they don't want to they don't want to join the club. Join the, the join the don't be angry at Drake club. They they don't have the cost for the ex extreme cost of membership now. Um, <laughs> Army tradition at least 25%. Again? Fantastic. Okay. Now let's go beat somebody up. <laughs> this is great. Uh, we want to boost our allies, but we want to declare a war. So who are we going to ally? Who are we going to boost as an ally and who are we going to war? I think Yamano has to be the one that we boost for alliance. Improve relations with you. Yes, I know I have too many, and yes, I know I have... Oh, right. Right, we've got those things. Those, uh... Unrest things. Um, you have... What do you have here? Takiyama has 3,000. Did... Date didn't go and get any more allies. Did they? No. So we can go... You have, That is sieged out. We can knock out the... 3,000 men there with a 3-pip. Ooh, a 3-pip leader there. Not not happy with that. You're a 1. And I can step straight in there from where I'm at right now. Oh, sorry about that. Bash, bang, boom. Uh, you know what? We're going to get a... We're going to get one of these or two of these. I think we get two of them for now. It's going to be costly uh, to have them. But the moment we can, we will be boosting. Well, we're going to continue to increase our uh, force limit. We can now declare war on you. So this is going to bring in... Now I want to do the right one. That's this one, right? 50% aggressive expansion. Yes. I don't want to do the conquest, although we, can still, we still have the reduced uh, coring cost because we actually have that as a claim. Uh, take capital of Rikuzin. Because of this Shingoku war goal, we're actually able to have a 50% aggressive expansion from this battle, which is fantastic. Uh, we don't want to bring in anybody. Nope, I don't think we have five allies we could bring. Well, we can't bring, we can only bring in Nambu, and that's only if we give him debt, date, which we don't want to do. So let's go there, and let's go ahead and kick off this war, shall we? Let's get to the killings. Slam, bang, boom. Oh, no. Dang it. Ah, oh, darn, he got at him. Yeah, bring it, buddy. Bring it. Bring it. Aw, oh, darn, we just wasted 30 bucks. Uh-oh. Lost a boat. He got caught out with his with his boat flopping around out there. Um have a spy master or vetting? No, I don't want that. That's just not something I'm gonna spend money on, thanks. That's a weird one. I don't know why that's a thing for us. Where are you going? Where are you heading to? Shinono! You no, know, no good. Where are you heading? Come here. Get back here. I got you now, buddy. I got you now. Into the grasslands. Thank you very much. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash, smash. That took longer than it should have. 
and pop over there, knock him out, and take his... Oh, we can't take his, his province. Um, we could go like this and take that guy off there, and that guy off there, and say, you stay there, we're going to go siege down this spot over here, thanks. Well, you have the sad, sad state of not having a province to build any troops on. Alright, siege that out. There are way too many ships out here. We not need to not mess with them. Not mess with them at all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, Yamana. You're just having a heck of a time, buddy. Heck of a time. 28%. If you get attacked there... If they both hit you at the same time. No, they're going to siege down their own capital again. Shiva's declared war against Hatakiyama. Hey! None of that. No, no you don't. What's that need? Three? We need to leave that behind and bring these guys over here. You know what I love about you for? Something that makes them so, so awesome to me. Uh, Paradox Interactive, of course, the makers of U4, Stellaris, uh, Crusader Kings 2, uh, Hearts of Iron, um, what else? Uh, Victoria, those games. They're amazing. They make a bunch of great stuff. Oh, and City Skylines, uh, which I haven't played. Joined War. What? What? Oh, not our war. Okay. Phew. Um, this guy. Shimatsu. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> uh, war with Shiba, Ito, and Kikuchi. And who's actually sieging the province? Kikuchi. Which is this guy right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yamana, you really need to do something about this whole losing your war thing. Can you stop it? Can I, can I actually siege your stuff? Can I de-siege things for you? Because if I can, I'll do it. I don't think I can. I think that's out of my, out of my range of abilities to do things. Yeah, I can't. Can I unsiege this one? No. Hitachi is now part of the clan, officially. Uh, what is this? Land force limit is now... Oh, it's still 8. Yep, it is. Okay, no, that's also not doing this any good. So, no point in... Well, kind of a point in doing that. Loot it? Should we loot it? Why not? Six and a half ducats to be made from that. Oh, man, I wish I could help you out, Yamana. You're just not doing much. You're not. You're not winning this war, are you? I don't know, you're probably winning. No, you're horribly losing. If you can win that siege, though, then you'll shift the... If you win the siege before he comes back... Oh, you Dorcas! You did a river crossing. Oh, but you're going to take him. You're going to take him. How did you do that? Wait, what did you do? Did you... You just stack wiped him? Man, you have... You boss! Oh, he, did, oh, he did finish. So he finished the siege, walked across, stack wiped them both. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Lord Noritada. That's my new ruler. My ruler. Current ruler, isn't it? Yeah. He gets a missionary strength plus one. Useless. Excellent. Alright, making a state where? Yeah, sure. How many states? I don't know how many states we can get, but everything's a state, right? Let's make them all states. Statey, state, state. You want some uh, debushi, or the uh, nobles want some space. They want some authorities. Let's see about getting them stuff. So they are uh, the manpower ones. We want to give them probably... Uh, I don't know. Do we give you... Yeah, let's give you this one. Is that going to give you... That'll put you to 12%. That'll make you happy. Good. Uh, what did that do, actually? I don't really usually mess with these things. So what's this? This is loyalty, and this is their influence, and this is the num the percentage of land. These guys aren't demanding any <clears throat> merchant's guild. What can we do? 
We can ask for contributions gaining $10 and they lose 10 loyalty. We can lose 5 prestige, they gain 15 loyalty and some influence. Well, that's not worth much to me, is it? Uh, admirals, draft ships of war, recruit a minister. No. Demand diplomat, oh, 50 diplo points. Influence 25 or greater. So if I hit this, their influence is currently 10, that would be 20. That's not high enough. Okay. <clears throat> not much use then there. Their loyalty, however, is currently uh, 50. So... If I drop it, uh, if I drop it by 10, I gain 10 bucks and their loyalty drops by 10. That's a thing. Now, other than that, there is the clergy. Seek support of the clergy. Lose 5 prestige, 5 pre uh, legitimacy, and they gain 10 influence and 15 loyalty. Administrative support gives me 50 admin points. They lose... 20 loyalty they have to have 25 influence or greater so I could do this we lose 5 prestige 5 legitimacy in the exchange for them losing a bunch of loyalty they gain this so lose 5 points of loyalty gain 10 influence and we gain 50 admin points Five prestige and five loyalty. They're at 65, national tax and stability. Um, the administrative support is 50. Admin points, that's nice. Then there's make generous donation, lose 10 bucks, and they gain some loyalty back. High loyalty gives them a higher tax rate. And stability cost modifier. No, it doesn't increase the tax rate. It just gives them stability. Oh, that's not really worth right now. A diet. Diet. Calling a diet for the Bushi. Generalship. A 40 tradition general. Demand military support. Military points. Recruit minister is a improve relations plus 20. Diplomat. Raise additional levies. Manpower. Loses 15 loyalty. Has to be 40 influence or higher and loyalty of 30 or higher. Well, their loyalty is 56 and their influence is 43. Grant General, they gain 20 more influence. That puts them at 63. That's uncomfortable. Um, we gain a general with 40 tradition. That's probably good. We get a note, leave them that in our brains that we need one. <clears throat> Demand support 50 military, lose 30 loyalty. Lose 20 loyalty puts them down to 46. Gain loyalty, gain influence. No, I think we leave him as is for now. I think we leave him as is for now. Not not super uh, stellar at use, messing with that, so I'm probably just going to leave it be as is. Okay, so Yamano, Yamana ha is winning his war. He will definitely uh, reclaim this war. What's his war score? Yeah, he's plus 8 already. Good. He's just going to re-siege his space down. Or reclaim his territory. Uh, who is who else is he at war with again? Well, it looks like we're coming to the end of another video, but uh, what? You're at war with Atakiyama? You are? What? No, why are you saying you're at war with? Oh, I was clicking on the wrong thing. Oichi and Oichi, and this is Shonai. Shonai. Okay, well he's doing good. And our war at the, at the moment... Oh, there we go. The date have surrendered. We do not want to take that place, however, but we do want to bring fantastic Dudazoid down here and the rest of our Dudazoids up there. That's going to take a declared war on date. Well, thank you, for ally, for declaring war on somebody I have just successfully sieged out. What's that for? He's like, hey, if you don't want it, buddy, I'll take it. All right, nine of them there. That's just enough to do this siege. That's tight. Every any negative, and they're gonna lose everything they got there. Seventy-one fifty. What's going on there? Oh, the uh, 
No, I don't know what causes it to switch between 71 and 59 back and forth. 57%. It's not sure if it's 57% or if it's 71%. It really can't figure it out. It's not sure right now. Uh, was that status quo? Must have been. Hmm. Well, we're going to finish that siege for the remainder of next video. Our buddy Yamana has uh, revitalized himself. He's reclaiming his territory. Uh, we have date, and uh, we are taking out the Hatakiyama. Oddly enough, the Mino here has is somehow winning his double wars. How did he? How's he winning against Imagawa? Is Imagawa at war with two people? No, I don't get it. Imagawa is just chilling out here with his three thousand men instead of sieging down the woods. Oh, it's a level three fort. He can't siege it out. <laughs> That's funny. He's in a war that he can't win because he doesn't have enough troops to siege it out. Well, that sucks. We almost had that problem here. We'd have to recruit somebody else to get, uh, to get ourselves enough manpower to do this. We have ten yet? No, we don't even have nine yet. Ugh. Alright, well, uh, it says we want to build a proper fleet, but I say we don't. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked the episode, and uh, stick with us for more. Uh, subscribe to see everything that comes out on the channel, and as always, I'll see you in-game.